Hello everybody, it's time to get on the road for another show, the last series of this I Am Dallas Closed Qualifier. We got one more team to send through, and one more team whose hearts we're going to crush, and uh, they're getting ready to go on in, and guess what? It's another ancient between these two teams. Oh, wow. poor Complexity, they can't get away from it. It's a rematch <laughs> between Complexity and Godson, and it looks like I'm going to need another command after this pistol round, because we got no x-ray, John. Oh, dude, we got no TK. A TK, a TK comes through here. Uh, Dumao taking down Henny, and then Dumao goes down. I'm just going to say how good Dumao has been, and I guess, well, he was due for something crazy to happen in a negative direction, at least, because he has been light out in this closed qualifier, top fragging in pretty much every single BO3. Maybe not the first one against ATK, but since then has been unreal. As this bomb's going to go down. Complexity trying to go for the retake. God sent not necessarily out of the round. Junior just taps the bomb. And a lot of damage, or a little bit of damage being taken by that Molotov. Taco peeking around from Jonah, trying to find the heads here. Can't just yet. And Lato along with the rest of Lato, just trying to hang on here. Barton gets one, but Grim trades it out. Now Barton finds himself at second, evens out the numbers, and JT's very low. So Grim is going to have to do the brunt of the work here, unless JT can pop some heads with this HP. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen as Lato finds Grim. JT's on the outside looking in, can't get this defusal, and Barton's going to find himself at 3k. Even though Complexity had the man edge in that post plant, it was quickly erased by the work of Barton. So one to nothing in favor of Godson, and you were kind of alluding to it, Mike. Complexity are getting a little bullied here on Ancient. It's getting picked against them again oh, and again and again, and they just don't have the answer. They're now three and nine on it with a minus 15 round differential, and it's their most played map as a result of everyone trying to play it against them. Yeah, I mean, it's the problem with having a perma and having a massive Achilles heel in the, in the pool. It's definitely a weird one. Uh, and it's a shame too, because once upon a time they were quite comfortable on this map, but it, it, it has clearly not been the case, and we're seeing it again and again. And the thing is, frankly, the funny part is that they actually have a decent T side most of the time. Yeah. They're just really lackluster here on the defense. So not getting the pistol is going to make life difficult. They were up used by Liquid okay. on this map oh. earlier. But Grim hits a deep shot. They could use this reset round, and Grim might just go Super Saiyan. He did it last time they played through all extent. That's another huge tag. Oh, can his teammates capitalize on the damage that Grim's done? The Eagles making its way on in, JT, with a lineup! Oh my goodness, spam damage going through, and now it's a man advantage. For complexity, this has gotten downright spicy. That bomb planted, ticking away at the very least. One more smoke to slow up the retake. But as it clears in towards the catacombs... Complexity's coming to calling. That's a bit awkward, and it's not going to work out very nicely. Flying through the smoke to their death. It's all going to be on to JT. Well, he did get one lucky through the smoke. I don't think they're going to give him another opportunity. Time's becoming short. JT's going to have to go now if he's going to do it. And they're not giving him anything, and Henny will put him down. So recovery there for God sent through the round. John did get spicy. Yeah, it did a little bit. Some nice deagle shots. You mentioned the spam by JT, and then before that, Grim getting a couple, but that was a picture-perfect Molotov thrown into Grim's position to isolate him and force him out, and I think he was, even if he didn't go down to the deagle, he probably would have burned live in the Molotov. He was trying to find that frag before going down, and it just wasn't coming through, so good job by God sent once more. They get a second in a row. And now Complexity, well, they're going to be on another pistol round. It's going to be a lot lighter this time. A 5.7, a P250, and three USPSs. They do have a Zeus in play, Mike, your favorite. And Floppy is the one using it. He's going to try and hold a cheeky angle here and hope that someone's going to come through Jaguar, unsuspecting of his positioning, and be the victim to the taser. I believe. I believe in the Zeus kill. I don't actually believe they're going to win the round, even if he gets the Zeus kill. But I believe in the Zeus kill. I like uh, I like the attempt here. From uh, Singer Floppy. Let's see if the power of electricity is on his side. He's feeling the energy, the power, the heat in his fingers. He knows they're here. He hears the footsteps. He's going to get a chance. They're coming into clear door. Without a Molotov for it, which side does Taco check first? Oh, he checks right. Or rather, he checks left, which is the right spot. And that's going to be the kill. That's going to be the Zeus out of the round. And that's almost certainly going to be the round as well, as they've got the free and clear sight. Every chance in the world to plant upon it. And very, very little in the retake. All right. Well, I mean, yes, God sent one pistol. They won the following two rounds almost assuredly here, unless something crazy happens. But 
Now is the true test for complexity, right? We talked about their struggles on CT side, how they really need to get it going. It starts with a good rifle round, and that's a good flashbang thrown by JT, but it doesn't really phase Godsend at all. And of course, the firepower isn't there for complexity, so again, nothing really doing, and this round is a right off for complexity. But yeah, um, hopefully they'll be able to get things going on the CT side once the rifles are out. Grim at least gets one frag, but uh, that should be it. Sorry. 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 Complexity at the very least. Very clean for Godsend. A chance to build early on here on their T side. And considering the woes the complexity of had on this map, even mm. though, reminder, in their liquid game, they converted both pistols and got almost nothing outside of that. Uh it, it it's been it's been bad. It's been really bad for complexity and and Godsend are just uh, gonna abuse that playbook. So we need to see something different here. Has to really start here in the gut round. Got the off out, got the rifles out, got everything. Now we just need to see it actually work in defense. Against Liquid, it was mid. That was uh, a point of pure weakness. But against Godsent yesterday, it felt like more just the direct sight hits were coming through. B in particular was getting abused uh, with that fast B take, right, John, where they just went through yep. the Molotov and just immediately got the entry kill. So, the difference here. Oh, that's a in. Good flashbang. Great flashbang. And smoke to follow it up, pushes players back. And Junior's not really going to be able to make a move, but his teammate smoked off. And now there's a play in towards Donut late, but Fang holds the ground. Taco oh, in trouble, but Barton takes advantage of Taco's destruction. Oh. It's only one, but Taco follows it up. Now the site's been taken. They still need to transition the bomb on over, but they've got this control towards Donut. They've got this control deep into the site. Moving the bomb in mid could be bad, though. Yeah, that's not a good idea, I was going to say. That's very risky. They're not expecting the late donut play, and Floppy finds the timing. Knows where the next is. Is there the trade? There is. So it's a clutch. It's a 1v1. Henny still transitioning the bomb in. JT's read this right, but he needs the shot. He needs the shot. He's got it. Wow. Henny goes wide, but JT ducks, dips, dives, and dodges for a massive clutch to get Cole on the board. Look, we talked about JT in the first BO3. He was a bright spot for complexity, top fragging almost twice. And if it wasn't for Grim towards the latter part of the first map, really starting to pop off, it would have been him top fragging on both maps. Anyway, uh, that was a really nice play from him, especially considering that Henny was expecting him to come out from that position. So he still manages to get the frag. First round on the board for uh, complexity. That's important. It's what they needed. The thing is, God sent were very effective yesterday on Ancient at isolating these round, round victories, especially when Complexity were on their CT side. And I mentioned him already, Dumao is just such a threat. Even though he's only on the Deagle, he had a 1v3 Deagle clutch yesterday, and it was impressive. In fact, I think Complexity kind of handed it to him in some ways, but those shots were really nutty. Nade's going to connect for a little bit of damage onto Barton, but he's not phased at all. Still plenty of time for Godsend to go for their execute. And the thing is, because Complexity lost so many players in that previous round, their buy-up isn't exactly great here. Two MP9s, a FAMAS, an A1S, and the AK. So technically, Godsend still have the edge in terms of hardware, Mike. Mm -hmm. Creeping on through. Barnes trying to get a little bit of an entry towards A that would pull rotations, pull distraction, perhaps. But he's not going to find anything initially, and he'll go ahead and back away. So instead, it's all this presence outside B as they continue to give up space elsewhere on the map. They've gained Jaguar for free. Floppy's just on the other side in cave. MP9. Could be the engagement. That decides the round. If he drops with nothing, they're in a world of hurt. Instead, here comes the hit. The floppy flinch. No. Fang gets here just in wow. time. Floppy gets that pick. And now the defense holds. Maintaining control of that cave. Now there's two players down. The flashbangs are good. And that looks decisive from complexity. It's clean. That is good news. Very good news for complexity. All five players left standing. They get a chance to get their footing in terms of their economy. And, of course, two round victories in a row. Godset unable to isolate them. So... Let's see how this one ends up. Talking about Godsent, though, on Ancient. Uh, we mentioned how good they are. The stats showed as well. Nine times they've played it over the last three months. Six times they've won for a plus 12 round differential. So 
They're not too shabby. They like these quick hits. This was Complexity's Achilles heel in the last time they played. And now Dumao's going to get one, but it's JT to the rescue once more, shutting down this attempted pistol push by a godsend. Although Barton does manage to get one before going down to Junior. And Henny will drop to Grimm. So Complexity make quick work of godsend on that push. And they've got three in a row now on their side. You know, John, have we talked about the veto for the full stretch yet? I don't, I think, don't we think we have. We should. Yeah, so yeah. this is the first map. This is going to be Godsend's pick, understandably. They picked it last time. It worked very nicely. Next map is not going to be Nuke. It's actually going to be Vertigo. So Complexity That's... throw a change of pitch in, which is interesting. Um, because the last time these two teams played, right, they played on Nuke. Complexity started out 10-1. <laughs> fall away the hack apart. And then it winds up being an overtime win for Complexity. Grim dropping 41 kills in total. So you're obviously not hoping for that again. You're no, not Taco. expecting that again. So switch to Vertigo instead. And while Taco does get one pick, it gets quickly silenced. So pressure's coming on towards A. This has pulled the rotation. This has pulled the second player in. But the question's going to be, what can Taco do in Donut? If he could just distract for his team, no, he gets caught coming out of the spot. That's not ideal. Now Dumal and Barton will back away. They want nothing to do with this. Yeah, I think this rotation has been read by Complexio. They had three players stacked up on the A site, but you see Floppy slowly but surely inching his way back to the B site. And uh, that will likely be the correct read unless Godsent decide to double back and push into Donut. Oh no, Floppy's actually holding really well because it looks like Godsent might head into Red Room. Yep. At least the bomb, along with Barton, will be there as one moves in towards Donut. Grim's got a prime opportunity to just shut this down completely, as he's done many times in the past. He's going to spot out the player, and they also see him, and he only gets one. Barton trades him out. I think he's got the reinforcements there. Yeah, so it should be a quick trade, and it is. Only Henny left. Doesn't have the bomb in his back, and only 37 seconds to make a play, which gives us a chance to talk a little bit more about that veto. So, for me, it's interesting, as Junior gets the last one, it's interesting they went to Vertigo, Mike, right? Because I think Vertigo is one of the stronger maps in Godsend's pool. Uh, they're sitting at 4-1 and one over the last three months with a plus-15 round differential. But Complexity, also very good in it. 5-2, and plus-14 round differential, and... Where And you mentioned this before we started here. Where else should they go? Because Nuke was a bit of a struggle. Grim carried them to victory in every way, shape, and form. And no one else could really connect there or click. So they've got to try something else. And Vertigo is the only other logical option because they know Inferno is going to come through as the last map anyway. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. A lot rides for me on how Ancient is played. And if Complexity can steal Ancient away from Godsend then we're looking at a whole different ballgame. I mean, that would be massive, truly. And they do yeah. say, you know, you learn more from the losses than a win. And well, Complexity have had a lot of losses. A lot, time. yes. So they've been learning. They've been going to school. They got a four-year degree at this point, postdoc. I mean, they are getting educated here on Ancient. They are. This is an interesting setup. This is deeper than we usually see them play. They don't really do this very often. So this is a change of pitch. Is Barton going to expect it? It's a good setup as well. If he comes around the corner, there's two chances. Delay him low. Goes and Grim's got it. Ah, yeah. Ducks under the crosshair. Nicely done. This is the change of pitch from Complexity. Catches Barton completely unawares. Now. Where's Godson go? Losing the initial pick. These gun rounds have not been going smoothly, right? They've lost four in a row at this point. They start the fifth off. Not so, uh, not so good. Window. Going to be a play, but they make an audio cue with it. That's uh, a little, little bit odd there from Grim. Lotto is traded immediately, trade. but it means there's no one on A, and Godsend have read that. These are the Jew players who are in Temple. They're not there anymore. Taco might overplay his hand just a smidge bit. Penny has been spotted. They know the bomb's here now, and Junior is able to reposition. They're not able to capitalize. They missed the opportunity. It's all under Doom Mao. But you'll recall the last time these two teams played on Ancient, Doom Mao in Donut. He just had a dig at that point. Pulled off a crazy 1v2. 1v3 is required of him now, but he's got the AK. No time either. But not the clock. Unfortunate yeah. there. Let's see if JT can take his gun away. Nope. No. He's no. lucky. <laughs> lucky that he got to save his gun to this round because he wouldn't have had any money if he didn't. Either way, this is fantastic for complexity. They could not string these types of wins together the last three times they've been on Ancient on their CT sides. That's five in a row now, looking to make it six, but they will be up against slightly tougher competition now. 
against the Godsend side. Well, I shouldn't say slightly tougher. They've got the full loss bonus, so now they're going to have two AKs and three Galils. They'll be able to continue buying should they choose to do so. It appears as though they want to. Maltop going to get tossed out of Jaguar here, right at their feet. And Junior has been connecting well, but this time gets overloaded a little bit. And Barton finding that frag on JT really exposes Junior. Flashbang soaring on forward. He does get one, and Floppy is right there to support from Cubby. Ensures that Junior stays alive, and they try to keep the numbers even. But Henny Whoa. and then Lotto with the Kobe Dunker. gets one onto Junior. It's only, I was going to say, a man advantage, but Grim is keeping things even and now makes it a 1v1. Do Mao versus Grim, the two best players yesterday on you, going toe to toe well here. Left. And Dumao is going to go down. Grim gets the last frag. That is going to do it. Sixth in a row for complexity. Love that play from Grim. He, he baited a little bit, but in the right way, right? They've got a player in first and second orange is the player first has revealed their position. And then Grim plays off of it, gets the trade, because, of course, they're expecting the swing to come from the other side of the square. Yeah, oh, it's beautifully done. Then completely repositions immediately to put the doubt in Dumao's mind so he doesn't have the information. I love that play from Grim. He's continuing his gargantuan form. And he's really been a champ for this team all series long, all qualifier long, right? Oh, yeah. He's really starting to step forward uh, as just a, a shining star for the squad. He's getting that confidence back, as we've talked about before. I mean, even on Ancient yesterday, only one frag separated himself and Dumao. Dumao had 25. He had 20. So I think that if everyone can start connecting here, and they are for complexity, then he could really start running away with this. Fang gets a couple. Dumal finds one, but then he gets deleted by Fang, who's on for the 3K. And simultaneously, Junior drops Barton. So nothing doing again for Godsent as JT cleans up the last one. That makes it seven in a row. If, wow, this is a completely different look to their CT side, Mike. There you go. Godsend, obviously. I mean, the game plan last time worked, so they're like, all right, let's let's go for some of the same things, and complexity have adjusted. What's interesting as well is yeah. the adjustment in towards mid. I mean, that round, obviously, it's just yes. pistols. There's not too much, right? But we're not seeing the same aggression out from mid. What they were trying to do a lot against Liquid was send, like, a double push down to to shut them down in elbow. And Even Elise against Godsend yesterday. was punishing them, right? Elise was punishing them a lot the flashes were getting in their eyes and then they were just being uh, punished losing one or two players immediately off the rip and, and just unable to rally so definitely a change up here from complexity and now grim with that secondary off he's been picking it up to lock down as an anchor player and to great effect apparently <laughs> grim on pace jr behind him you got one off down how about another oh ah, no oh. jr burns alive that one not looking so frisky fresh that's a bit unfortunate. Prime opportunity there. Big miss. That would have likely shut down this round. Instead, Godsend may have just gotten themselves an opportunity. Still Fang and Donut. That is Fang, right? Am I crazy? That is Fang yes, and Donut. Yes, that is Fang. Uh, he's peering around. Taco's looking for it, but not anymore. No, I mean, he has too many responsibilities, right? He's in the catacombs. Yeah. He's got to try and work his way around. But Floppy's even holding for this. So that tap's been on this season. Players, and there's the there peak from Fang. The flashbang was facilitated, and they lock it down. The double ops work out. They can be retrieved as well, though only one will be garnered. But uh, all right, Grim. 12 kills, 11 rounds. Not quite his nuke pace, but it's uh, pretty darn good, John. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is great to see from Grim. And uh, interestingly, they've rotated the secondary op. It was mostly Fang before, but they've rotated it off to Grim, and Grim is a good secondary op. I remember back in his Triumph days, way before he was even on Liquid, uh, he was good with the op. They just put him off it, and he was more, more so focusing on his rifling. But now he's coming back to it, and I absolutely love it. The thing is, I, I think Fang is kind of getting the short end of the stick in a lot of ways. Um, he's being put more into, I guess, a support lurk role, right? Mm -hmm. Um, on T side anyway, and I don't know, his his fragging has taken a hit uh, due to this adjustment that's been made when Grim uh, joined up on the roster, and something just happened there, Mike. I mean, that round wasn't live. Presumably somebody had a crash or some sort yeah. of an issue, and the round's just going to be redone. Uh, let's go in and see if our lovely admin team has given me the scoop on what just happened. Yeah, but I don't I have mean... the scoop yet. But anyways, that round's going to be replayed. Didn't happen. You saw nothing, folks. You yeah. saw nothing. All that being said, I love the adjustment for Grim. Uh, give him whatever he needs mm. to get the confidence flowing in the frags on the board because he is just literally a monster. I mean, here on the CT side, he's an anchor. 
for them, yep. which is huge. Right here, he's playing A on Ancient. Uh, they leave him there a lot he, over on Inferno. He's a pit player for them. He he does a lot on, in terms of being that anchor player. On Yuke, even, on the A site. Sometimes they just have him anchoring on it down. On the A site, yep. He's frequently solo or has Heaven, but he's the only player who's down in it. Uh, he, he's such a powerful player that when teams realize where he's playing, there's a certain desire to avoid it, and that allows the rest of the team a lot of flexibility. Well, one thing's for sure, they've uh, managed to make the adjustment here and do quite well against Godsend on their CT side. They're trying to make it nine in a row now, and I have to say it's impressive to be able to... Wow, Grim again with the op is going to take down. Anyway, what I was saying was uh, it's impressive uh, to see them make that adjustment, having played so much Counter-Strike. They don't have much time to review, and Fang and Floppy along with Grim are just taking down the bodies. No and Grim hits the no-scope hey. to wrap up the 3K with the op. 15 frags now, nine rounds for complexity. They are cruising along. I mean, this is incredible. Nine in a row as well. That's the thing. They lost the pistol, and they're rocking out with nine That's rounds the, in a row. The shoe was completely on the other foot. Exactly. It's what we were talking about in the previous BO3. They were winning so many pistol rounds on Complexus and then winning the following two, but so maybe then nothing else afterwards. Yeah, stop winning pistol rounds. There you yeah, go. There you go. 3,000 oh IQ gosh. play, folks. Don't win the <laughs> pistol. Win every other round. That's Counter-Strike strategy as fine as here. That's our cutting-edge analysis. Why ever win a pistol round? Pistol rounds for losers, clearly. If you believe Vu, uh, so Vu's got to take that if you have, if you win a map 16-14 and you won both pistols, you lost morally. It's uh, interesting. Complexity don't have to worry about that in this one. Because they have not worked with Oh, look at this play. Look at this play from Fang. He's worked his way into window. They're watching it though. Nah. Heady. Ready the entire time. This was the bait. This was the bait. And they got him hook, line, and sinker. But they've moved Junior in he, towards the yeah. Jaguar and this is not something uh, Godson are going to be used to this is not a normal look for complexity There's so much patience being shown from Godson they're whittling down so much of this clock John they went for a much faster pace of play and you can see complexity starting there he is there's the peek out floppy's dead Henny comes around he'll be collected but there's many more players behind and despite damage JT can get no further kills Junior, he won't be expected here, but can he catch the bomb in transition? Oh, he pulls off oh. the angle! Ah, oh, that one's gonna sting. They won't know it till they review the demo, but that was the opportunity to put this round in the tank. Junior's still doing work, though. He could still win it for the squad. Does Lotto go down? He does oh. not. He crosses Grim. There would have been no time if he'd been dropped. It could have been a catastrophe. Oh, Junior almost gets the tag! He pulled them off! Ah, and they're going to oh. get it as Junior tries to go through so many moments where Complexity nearly had that round and God sent. Going to breathe a sigh of relief as they finally get a rifle round on the board. Got to be honest, that would have been very impressive for Complexity. They pull it off with two ops against four rifles, right? Because there was damage done by JT to his credit. He, again, he's been so good over the entire day. But the thing is, you have two ops left, so it doesn't matter. And they didn't, I don't think they had many rifles in sight, or they just really wanted to go for that uh, attempted op retake. So the damage done is a moot point. And at the end of the day, Junior gets overloaded despite the fact that he pulls up the tech and almost connects for the killing blow on the bomb planter. All right, whoa, Fang's gonna find a free frag on Totaku who just cruised through that smoke like, uh, well, no one was there, but uh, didn't clear his angles. That's the important part. 5v4 in favor of Complexity. Barton's given a good fight here, but Floppy does manage to take him down. And again, two players stacked up for Complexity here over in Jungle. This time it's not the op though, because Junior is over at Donut watching mid. As he's the sentry oh, there. Timing on this window peak. Yeah. Timing on this yep. window peak. Yep. There it is. The flashbangs there, and Grim's got two. The Grim Reaper enters from the window, and he'll exit with the round win. Not necessarily just yet. Henny could pull off an ace clutch. He's got the first. All right. Now they know where he has. He's not got bomb control. They got the flank controlled. He's been naded down. This would be the most absurd clutch I think I've ever seen. This would be on the levels I mean, of the, the JDM in Garage on Cash, where Envious just ran at him one by one. We did see a 1v4 ace clutch from Barton yesterday. It's not so going to happen, John. I, no, I know. <laughs> Obviously, that was a completely different scenario. But, yeah, no bomb control here. Henny is just probably trying to save the op. 
He's going to toss a smoke on back. He's figuring he's surrounded, and that's actually a pretty good guess because Junior is waiting on the other side. So uh, Henny's just going to have to hold this. What's going to happen is they're going to wait for the time to run out, yeah. and Henny knows that, so he has to try and find something and open up the space by himself. Otherwise, it's over, and it feels like uh, there isn't much of a chance for him to survive, so his money's going to be a little bit shot into the next round. This is going to be rough, especially yeah. if, if Junior just puts the molly down. He literally can't escape. Because as it stands right now, the best thing he could hope for is for them to have a duel with him. Oh. oh he's down to the sidearm. Yeah, they oh, blocked yeah. him. His money's in the toilet. That's a bit of a catastrophe here. And he's got $1,200. At least something. He could buy a deagle. But uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a rough road for Godson as they hit the last round of the half. Double digits for complexity, John. What wow. A, what a turn of events. Turns out maybe they were uh, leaving Ancient in for a reason. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe they're pulling the wool over our eyes and they're actually going to be an incredible Ancient team moving forward and into the Major, right? I don't know. They're saving the strats for the Major, Mike. But either way... They do want to find their way also into the I Am Dallas main event. That's very important for them. And that would be fantastic to have both liquid and complexity there, right? It would indeed. I mean, look, love Godsend. Love watching them. Such an exciting team. Yes. Complexity is based in Dallas. We, we need NA teams, right? Literally their hometown. <laughs> but I yeah, mean, literally, the, the, the complexity office is in Frisco, Texas, which is just outside of Dallas, right? Uh, like, it, it's there. These guys boot camp and train there. They play in the facility. I'm not sure whether they're all located there. I think they actually might be as well, uh, all living down in Dallas. So, it's the hometown heroes. You will, but the donut will not hold too many hometown heroes. There's still no. an opportunity. Three on three, and the off's going to start to collect. Big kill for Junior, the second as well, and it will be complexity emerging with the 11-4. Is that the sweet sounds of Ancient? It is! A second half here with Complex getting a substantial lead, 11 to 4. Fantastic scrolling to see, unless you uh, put stock in the certain words of a certain Danish coach. Otherwise, phenomenal here, John. And uh, considering the woes they've had on the Ancient CT side, this is nice to see. It's fantastic. 11 of 12 rounds going Complexity's way, and now they're looking to perhaps pick up a pistol. They've been very good on their pistol rounds, but this time, well, the first frag goes towards Godson, but Fang immediately trades it out. Now they're trying to stick the bomb to Dirt. Grim going to trade one out again, but it's Dumao who gives his team the edge with another nice headshot from the USP. Loppy's going to try and come out and support with Grim, but they go down to Lato, who finds himself the 4K, and another pistol round goes by the wayside. But if the trend continues from that first half, I don't think Complexity have anything to worry about. I think they're probably still pretty worried. It's not ideal. So a bomb plant down likely means that this second round force is going to come in, and this yes. is going to be the critical one. They've done the first part. Godsend have won the pistol. Now, this is the really scary round. Yeah. Right? You got a chance to, to realistically shrink the gap, give yourselves a really good chance here on this ancient CT side, build that eco up early. That's what you love to see. Unless, 
Unless these five mm -hmm. Galils come a reckoning. No Mac tens though, so it's not going to be that quick of a round as we might normally expect. Hmm. Not necessarily. I mean, they're going out towards mid really fast. aggressively. Yeah. yeah. Dumal takes two, but Junior answers back. Dumal the monster gets his due, but. Teammates in much the same, and now aggression in has oh. been punished. It's down to a 1v3. Barton does find the first, and he does have the biggest gun on the server. He's got the AUG, but his position's known, so that bomb's going down, and he's going to have to battle all the way back into the site. Grim is limping. Grim basically is already into the next life, into the next realm. But JT is looking hale and hearty. Time going to be everything here. Oh, he's got the spot, and now they know where he's coming from, so they can adjust. They can set up. How do they want to play this? Grim actually out in the open, and... I don't know going. if I like They're that. They're going to stack up and set up the trade, and it works <laughs> out. JT nice. in the same spot. Barton didn't realize that he'd spotted the wrong player, and that's going to be the round for complexity. The four spy working out for them, and now yep. Godsend in the mud. That type of setup can go so very wrong. You have to be perfect, making sure that you can seal yourself if you're JT, and don't show Barton that there's a two-man stack there, because if you do, he just comes around, swings, gets a 2K spray down, and it's over. But JT hides long enough. Barton retreats briefly, trying to figure out where the next player would be, and JT wisely swings to get the last. So excellent trade, great work from Complexity, and that force buy is perfect, and they're going to take a page out of Godsense book here, because they're just charging right on into the B site. They've already taken it. A little bit of damage from JT, but he's going to continue charging down long B, and he can't finish the job. This is not good. Taco takes down Floppy. They need to find these frags. Ooh, and no, Barton and Eddie connect for two consecutive frags. I don't know. He just had the bomb out. Barton gets another one. It's all up to Junior here. It's falling apart, and Junior is just barely standing after that second frag. And now Barton, the third one with the scout. What just happened? Complexity hadn't cleared the site at all and started to try planting the bomb. Catastrophe. A complete misread. What a blunder. They had the <sighs> chance to put their boot on the throat of Godsend, yep. and instead Godsend just pulled the full Uno reverse, flipped it all around. The Force is going to come back in from Complexity, but they didn't even get a bomb plant in it. It's going to be Oof. stinky poo-poo. This is going to be rough <laughs> indeed. Let's see if they can pull off something special here, but Godsend just got a huge lifeline into this game. Yeah, uh, just felt like complexity were discombobulated in that whole hit. They didn't realize what had gone down and what they'd walked into. Well, Henny down to 30 HP, though, right off the docket, and Grim is going to get the spray down onto Dumao. That opens up a lot of space on the A site. Gotsen trying to lock it down, but they can't. JT gets Taco right. and Grim gets Barton. The force spike right. comes right on back, Mike, and Complexity only have Henny and Lotso to deal with. They're what gonna is going on? It's yeah. full, we're full, full Looney Tunes on this. Right what now, is happening? At the beginning of this half. But here's the thing, right? Okay, yeah. so it's full Looney Tunes. But, as I often say, but I suppose mm -hmm. bears repeating in this situation, that really stinks for the CTs. You don't like yeah. to trade force buys. You're always going to come out losing. And this time, everybody's living for coal. We'll see how heavily they hunt, but they're going to have the buy and reserve. They're going to have the upgrades available. They're going to have a healthy round next. And meanwhile, Godsense going to be picking around for loose change in their couch cushions. This uh, this could be really bad for Godsend because it, when you're in this force by war, as soon as you give up two as the CT side, you are so okay. this game's basically over. They, I mean, yeah, at least they have the Galil picked up. Oh, almost lost it, but uh, time in their favor. Yeah, so I think they're gonna force up again. It would be surprising if they didn't choose to do so and yeah that's already been uh, indicated by taco as he goes down to 150 buys up the deagle two p three pieces of utility and everyone else is going to pitch in on this they are going to call a timeout which i think is a good idea because this could quickly get out of hand like you mentioned they really do need to talk this over and decide how they will play this next round do they opt for the stack maybe lean towards one site try to read complexity or do they just play a default strat and hope for the best. I like their stack on the B site, right? Mm -hmm. uh, when Complexity were coming in there, that was a great call and it ended up being a round victory. But now, it's a far more important decision staring down at the prospect of a 14 to 6 deficit. Absolutely. Just want to point out, by the way, Grim, yep. 25 kills, 19 rounds. <laughs> Grim, uh, Grim looking pretty dang good here. He's been their best player throughout the close qualifier. Certainly. It's the second BO3 that really started to get things going uh, against yeah. Gotham. She's got the juice flowing. She's got the energy. He's got the heat. He stepped up when they need a big player as well. And, I mean, here he's just been the big player all the way 
along. So let's see what can do. Utility in towards mid to set up this fight. There's the spot. There's the information. The scout's not tag. really going to do much. Did do the tag. But look at this. They're already all the way through on B. And there's the cleanup on Taco. A second kill coming through. There's still a player in cave. Got to be a bit wary about that. And a gun given over. The Reaper himself gets claimed. And he? Oh, not long for this world. He's just praying. Praying that they would just looney tunes an outline around him. Didn't happen. No stormtroopers over on the complexity side right now. Well, all right. I said it. I said it was going to really stink for Godsend as soon as they lost two rounds in a row. Yep. John, they're losing two rounds in a row. They are. They're trying to save a couple of guns, which would make it less of a blow. But you see Junior hunting. He doesn't really have to worry too much about losing the scout because he'll be able to buy up the next round anyway. And maybe he'll catch off Barton here. We'll have to wait and see if Barton peeks out. They probably just want to tuck in and not show face at all. And that is indeed what happens for Godsent. They're surrounded, but they save those two guns at least. Alrighty. Well, complexity two rounds away from a blowout here on Ancient. And Godsent are going to force into it. I guess they... I mean, you're either playing for overtime down 15 to 6, or you try and force again and do something. But, hmm, that's a, that's a tall ask here. All right, complexity. Going to toss the utility immediately onto the beast. So they're trying to bait rotations from Godsent here because a couple of players are going to try and pinch on him towards mid. Taco doesn't buy it at all. He gets floppy, moving right on up. And now Complexity is going to try and get the trade, but Taco's already hightailed it out of there. He's moving into Donut, and he's holding another close end. So this is very dangerous for Complexity. That frag against Dumal would have helped a lot, but he survives down to 6 in HP. Two players on notice for Godsent, right? But I mean, Complexity needs to find these frags. Up. Oh, he's hoping they're going to come through the smoke and that he can punish. He doesn't actually go through it. But he might find the timing here to be able to pinch this player in red room. That mm -hmm. would be huge. In the meantime, though, B's gone soft. That's the problem. B side is super soft. And Complexity are making absolutely the right read. They've worked their way in towards cave. They're going to find no presence here. And if these smokes go in, it's going to be very tough to dodge the much of anything. That spam should take Complexity off, but there's likely no one on site. They're still doing their due diligence, but they're going to move out. And they're going to find an empty bomb site. Grim does get tagged, so the spam does find something. That bomb goes down now. Nice flash. That's up for Lexi quite well. But oh. Junior pulls off of it. Gets a kill. Justifies pulling off of it. Well done, Junior. Wasn't so sure about that. Now the fight on in. Big kill for Lotto. A second. A follow-up for the man. Stepping up big. And now it's all on to one. It's all on to Grim, and he's got no health. He's going to have to be perfect on these shots because he's not going to get any follow-ups. Headshot or bust! He gets the first, even a headshot, but not quick enough to transfer. The defuse is on. Godsent survived. Oh. <laughs> Godsent managed to snatch that round out. Just barely. And I mean, on a forest spy, they had to. Otherwise, it was literally curtains for them. So now they're going to get a couple of AKs off the ground. That's a great result for them, given that they didn't have much that they would have been able to bring into this round, given their economy. And now it's still a bit rough, right? Because... He breaks out the op, John, on T-side. That's interesting. Where's he going to go with it, right? He this was... Is... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say, he was very good with the it on CT side, right? Sure, the best sure. you've seen him on Ancient, so I don't mind it. Certainly on the first half. It's just interesting because complexity as a team has been known to go away from the op on their T sides, especially when they want to yes. get some more momentum play. So this tells me they're playing a bit slower. But look at how far they are outside of A main already. They're ready to push on into that site. They're ready to take this fight. They're not tipping their hand just yet. This could be a fake, but having not been interrupted at this point, they'll get Grim in position. And now they go looking. Oh, I can't get more. Barton's ready for it. Oh. He's wise to it. He's wise to their games. And so Grim goes down for free. That position is given away. That space given up. And complexity are on the back foot. Yeah, they were really hoping to find at least a frag out of that engagement to uh, force Godsend to respond, but with nothing doing there and then the spam onto the B site, I think Godsend are wise to what's going on. They've sent another player to reinforce B, so this is going to be an even tougher take. Maybe going to caves would be the right call, trying to clear those out and then filter on to B. 
And that looks like that's what the complexity is thinking as well. Floppy leading that charge. They're going to have to deal with Lotto, who has been a key piece for Godson, at least in the rounds that they've won. And he's going to get deleted by Floppy, who's going to walk in and get that headshot. So that's the cave presence gain. Very important for them. They might want to send one player to ramp, and they do. But it's Taco and Henny trying to combine to do something, and they do. But Junior up close takes down Taco to make this even at a 3v3. Henny's still one to worry about, but they perfectly flash, and that was Fang self-flashing and then taking down Henny. 3v2, the man advantage, they're trying to get onto 15. Barton and Dumao are threatening, though, from both short and long B, and Barton throws a flash on for it, but they have to get a move on and find these frags. Poor Henny. Literally, if he just keeps holding mouse one, he's got Fang. Instead, he gets a face full of lead. Well, the retake smoke has been thrown. Fang not flinching an inch. Just if he moves off, Barton's got to get the rights, but instead now... It's going to be the last man, and he's down for the count. Complexity find map point on their opponent's map pick. They've got eight attempts at it, and they've got a bankrupt godsend staring down the barrels of defeat. I am impressed yeah. <laughs> with the adjustment that Complexity has made here, period. I mean, uh, Grim, of course, popping off doesn't hurt, but Junior have to highlight him we always point out when the struggles are coming through and i want to point out how well he's playing right now it's just clicking for him on the op on t side and ct side he's opening up space for his teammates he's getting trades when the important moments come through ah, this is exactly what complexity we're looking for on this map and now they have eight opportunities to close it out and god since economy continues to struggle as it has throughout the entirety of this half because they got into those ill-advised force by rounds and, I mean, sometimes it goes well and it starts uh, trending your way, but this time, not so much. So they're going to have to settle for two MP9s, two Eagles, and the Scout. Lots of damage being dealt for Godsend onto Complexity. That's the good news. Grim and JT around half health, but mm -hmm. they still need to find the frags because they are very short-handed in terms of firepower. It's just kind of a softener, right? They've thrown in the yeah. fabric softener yeah. to the wash, but you're still going to need the spin cycle. You're going to need <laughs> detergent. I mean, at this point, with these kind of stains, you, you might need bleach, right? They're, they're <laughs> sticking around. They're tenacious complexion. Three players are on towards B, so they've got the right read, at least initially, but complexity are far from committed. They push in. They take that Jaguar control. They put it out into Godsend's mind. It's going to keep them paralyzed here, and then look at the mm -hmm. float. Here's the call. They're going to head this direction. Now, here's Great the question. Call. Taco's been good in Donut. He's been a nuisance, and now he hears them. He's got the read. He's got the spot. Does he have the shot? He does have the first, the second as well. Oh. Taco's <laughs> done his work. Now can his team follow it up? They call him Vaco for a reason. He's got the reads. He's got the shots. But his team needs to do the rest of the work. Young guns. The captain's taking them to the line here. And, well, Bart, collect on one more. That bomb's down. And they're not going to be able to get a donut flank. What about the numbers? Still got the numbers, but as Junior starts to take his position, that off is going to become far more deadly when it's posted. They're all just threatening. They're all just threatening. If he peeks out, he might just be punished. The rifle has to keep him healthy, but oh, he does exactly that, and Junior will put the final bullet in to end things out. Beautifully done there from Complexity. They're going to take the dub on their opponent's map pick. It's getting quite dark here in my room. I'll just turn that up a touch. As uh, Complexity turned it up a touch, indeed, they've been bullied on Ancient. They, they had a rough Ancient at Pro League. They've had a...